There's plenty of reasons why you may need to make an OS X bootable drive. Whether you're updating numerous Macs within your house and don't want to download the installer every time, or maybe you've just replaced a hard drive and need to install a fresh copy of OS X. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So, let's get started. Firstly, you'll need a USB stick or hard drive of at least 8GB. And this will be completely wiped. So, if you're using an external hard drive or memory card as I am, make sure you've backed up anything you need elsewhere. Next, we need to head to the App Store and download the Yosemite installer. These steps also work for Mavericks and Mountain Lion, but once downloaded, we also need to download Disk Maker 10. I'll leave a link in the description below. There are other ways to mount the installer onto your drive, but this is the easiest. Open up the apps, choose the drive you want to use. Again, it will remind you that the entire drive will be formatted, and then it'll ask you to choose the installer, which it tends to automatically find. This process can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. But once done, you'll see a confirmation message and you're safe to reject your drive. Then to install it on another Mac, hold the command key upon its boot up, or if the hard drive is completely clear, it will automatically open up the installer. Then all you need to do is follow the usual steps. So there you have it, it's as easy as that. If you did have any problems though, please leave a comment down below or even tweet me direct at stsmith10 and I'll try and help you out. Until next time, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll see you next time.